Behind me is the National Assembly for Wales in Cardiff Bay. Now, one of the first things that the Welsh Government did when they were created was they abolished school league tables, so parents in Wales could no longer compare schools in the same way that English parents can. Now, was this a good thing or a bad thing? The Centre for Market and Public Organisation at Bristol University decided to study this. For this study, we were very interested in the role of public accountability, public scrutiny of the performance of schools. This, the idea here is that if schools feel that they are that their results are, are public knowledge, they will um, uh, try harder in a sense. They won't just be coasting along, hoping that no one will notice their low performance. So what we were looking for was an example of a place that had either introduced lead tables from scratch or had removed lead tables. So we were very interested to learn of the case of Wales, uh, where the Welsh Assembly Government had decided to stop publishing school league tables in 2001. We were then able to compare the outcomes of students in Wales with the outcomes of very similar students in England. Okay, so our finding was that after league tables were removed in Wales, a gap started to open up between the performance of students in Wales and the performance of very similar students in England. And that amounted to around two GCSE grades per student per year. So that's a really very sizable gap that we attribute to the removal of the school league tables. The revelation that Welsh education had actually deteriorated since the abolition of league tables naturally caused a furore in Wales. We sought the reaction of Professor David Reynolds, who advises the Welsh Government on educational matters. Professor Reynolds, can you tell us what was the reaction to the CMPO study? Um, I thought it was good data. Um, because it's based on individual pupils and schools in the two countries. I thought it was well done, but I think the difference, the gap in educational achievement between Wales and England that it found, and the fact that the gap was widening, is something that many of us in, in Wales have recognised for a long time. What would you say is the value of studies such as the CMPO carries out? Well, the value of studies is science. I mean, it's science in which you take the educational innovations in different countries and you subject them to scientific tests so that we know what works and what doesn't. Um, the value is you know, the still small voice of reason in a world of education which is full of emotion and prior conceptions and political decisions which are often partly based on rationality but sometimes not totally. And I think. Uh, the exposure that his views had in Wales uh, has been good for us. It's forced us to think. Well, clearly, when the Welsh Assembly Government decided to abolish the publication of school lead tables, they must have weighed up the costs and the benefits of doing that. What I think we've done in this research is to show, to make very precise, the costs of doing that, the sort of substantial decline in performance of pupils in terms of GCSEs. So I think the Welsh Assembly Government probably needs to reassure itself that the benefits it saw in removing school lead tables are at least as big as those costs. Just a month after the CMPO report, the Welsh Government was forced to think even harder. In the international PISA tables, which compare educational standards in different countries, Wales got its worst scores ever. Worse than England, worse than Scotland, worse than Northern Ireland. So was the lack of league tables to blame? The Welsh Education Minister, Labour's Leighton Andrews, has never accepted the connection. He believes league tables and competition generally are against the spirit of comprehensive education. But he agreed Welsh education needed serious attention and he announced 20 new separate measures to try and improve things. One of these measures is the introduction of school grading, which some critics say is league tables by another name. We will introduce a national system for the grading of schools, which will be operated by all local authorities or consortia. I am pleased that the Association of Directors of Education in Wales has confirmed that all consortia will operate this model. All schools will be graded annually. Schools will be expected to reach certain floor targets, an absolute standard below which no school in Wales will fall, and will also be expected to operate progress targets for all pupils so that all students make one year of educational progress each calendar year. All schools will produce an annual public profile containing performance information to a common format.